need the sea tractor, do you? Yes, please. On me way. Mr. Poirot, I wanted to thank you for helping to clear up the misunderstanding between Gladys and me. How she could think I'd ever be interested in that schoolgirl is beyond me. I can't help it if some foolish child decides on her own to start hanging about the garage. I know it sounds silly, but I think she was only doing it because she wanted to pinch my shovel. The village is practically abandoned. Morning, Poirot. Major, you are here already? I've already worked with the dog. He'll do as I say. Are you ready? Not quite. Let me know when you are. Hello, Mr. Poirot. Not like you to look so out of sorts. Did you not say the key to finding the treasure was to start on the island summit? Hastings, we are not here for the treasure hunt. Well, that's what most believe, eh? What of it? The directions we... I discovered led to where the tennis court is now. Don't tell me you dug up Mrs. Castle's tennis court. Yes, very amusing. Have you any idea where we could have gone wrong? Well, let me see. Oh, rot. Oh, rot. Why do you say this? Well, if you started at a current high point on the island, you would easily go astray. The current high point? Yes, you misunderstood me. I? Poirot? He does not misunderstand. But you have. Let me explain. That hill is the highest point on the island now. But of course it wasn't back in Tom Cutter's day. That was long before the hotel, remember? They leveled the land around there when they built it. The highest point used to be... Hmm. Let me see. You know that grassy path out from the main entrance of Ways? The one that leads to the bathing beach? Well, that used to be much higher. That's where old Tom used to sit and watch. You really did dig up the tennis court? Good day to you, Monsieur Bagby. Yeah, if you'd like a game of darts, just ask. Ugh. A corned beef sandwich, and well past its prime by the smell of it. I've already worked with the dog. He'll do it. Proceed, Major. Stand at attention, Baskerville. Heal. It's a miracle, that is. Sit. Easy as anything to train a dog. You just know how to talk to them. Your skill is extraordinary, Major. Now I will open the door. Command him to enter and we will let nature take its course. Ready when you are, Poirot. Enter Baskerville. Baskerville, enter the shop. Uh, he won't budge, Poirot. Can't say what the trouble is. Have you any way to lure him inside? Hastings, do you have anything that might attract Baskerville? That is exactly as Poirot was thinking, Hastings.
was that that poor Baskerville again? You'd think he'd learned not to come round here anymore. Voila, Madame Hughes. The case of the missing post is solved. Why, do you mean to say my dear little Chloe knocked those letters back there by accident? That your cat pushed them there to have the room for the catnap is fact. Whether it was an accident, it is not for Poirot to say. Oh, Mr. Poirot, how can I ever thank you? It is my pleasure to assist you, Madame. However, there is a kindness you can do Poirot in return. What is it? Choose wisely, Hastings. I could make good use of your testing equipment. Excellent, Hastings. You are sharpening the detective instincts. I'm not sure. You are a detective. Colonel Weston will vouch for me. Ah, oh, well then. Of course you can. I'm happy to be of service, I'm sure. Merci, madame. You do that great service for Poirot. I am sorry, mon ami, but I do not... The tablets of Monsieur Lane are most certainly trying out. Hello, Poirot. Enjoying our holidays? I will let you be the judge of that, my friend. I have several things to discuss with you. Carry on. Mrs. Marshall has been receiving threatening messages. The devil, you say? From whom? That is yet unclear. I would like to compare them to the type on your machine. You think I've been sending them? I must try every possibility, my friend, however remote. Be my guest. Oh, that does not make sense. That is not... There, you see, Hastings, the E, the M, and the H. This is the typewriter used to write the threatening notes beyond any doubt. <laughs> 